Okay, so here's a question. Are you all currently dealing with the disillusion of gardening? Has the heat, insects, pests, disease, just everything, has it all just hit you so hard? And now that it's hot and the heat is here, summer's here, and you're just like, man, you know what? This isn't everything I thought it was going to be. If it is, and you're going through this, don't quit. Stick around and let's you and me have a talk. Okay, right off the bat, we all as gardeners go through this. Don't let anyone tell you that they have not thought of quitting or I'm just so overwhelmed, I'm done. Or this isn't what, it, what I thought it would be. Well, that's normal, y'all. We all go through this. One of the biggest things that I had an issue with when I first started gardening was this illusion that I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna create a utopia and everything's gonna get along together. We're gonna have birds singing and unicorns and puppies and rainbows. And y'all, that, that is not the case. This is gardening in the real world. And we are going to constantly deal with setbacks. Now, I'm not trying to paint this gloomy picture. We all are going to have our successes and we're gonna have those vegetables that we grow that we are so proud of, that we're Instagramming, Facebook, and showing the neighbors, showing the friends, you know, all that. But there's going to be times where you're dealing with adversity and you're going to feel the need or the want to just, you know what, I'm done, y'all, I'm done, and quit. Don't. Okay, let's talk about this aspect. You're a brand new gardener, or this is your second year gardening. Basically, you're a new gardener. Now, for the older gardeners, and I don't mean by age, I mean by experience, we've all been through this. We all know what to expect each, each season, so this is just par for the course for us. But for beginner gardeners, when you got into gardening, I would venture to say that you had the expectation that you're going to come out here and you are going to plant the world's largest tomato, right? You have those dreams in your head of what your garden's going to look like, and it's just going to be fantastic. But what a lot of us, including me, don't realize before we start gardening is there are going to be pests, disease, heat, drought, things like that that will literally just bring your, your joy down. Now, for me, I love being in the garden. But my first year or two, when I started finding all these pests that I never heard of were out here in my backyard, y'all, I, I, was, I was not happy. I was not happy. This was even before I started the YouTube channel because I didn't start the YouTube channel until the spring of my second year gardening. So that first fall, summer fall of 2020, I was dealing with all kinds of stuff. Now I was having a lot of success, I'm not gonna lie, but I was also having a lot of issues with stuff I had never even thought of. And those issues can literally suck the happiness out of your joy of being out here. And what I'm here to tell you today is don't let it. I'm gonna let you all in on a little secret. Last year, early last year, 2023, I was thinking of quitting the channel. I was thinking of just giving up, moving on, um, not doing it anymore. It was around this time of the year when it really hit me hard because of the heat. The heat in where I am is insane. And then add on to that, the humidity of the Houston area it makes it to where you don't even want to come outside. Like literally, I don't want to come out here. So the only time I can film is like right now, early morning or late at night, but I work a full-time job, y'all. I don't have the, the time to just dedicate to this channel. I wish I did, but I don't. So I have to figure everything out. But the heat literally was almost the straw that broke the camel's back last year. Now I talked to a few people, um, Dale over on Old Southern Kitchen and Garden and Brian, Next Level Gardening. And they both encouraged me to keep going, to not give up, maybe take a break. So I took a month break last year because we all get burnt out. So even with all the joy 
that I get out here, there is, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of stress with doing the channel and being out here gardening. So I was very overwhelmed last year and I thought of quitting, just keeping it real. I'm glad I didn't because there would have been this big missing part to my life not being able to share this experience with you all. So here's my advice. If you are feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling like, you know what, I just can't grow anything. This isn't what I was cut out to be. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. Then there's a few things you can do. Obviously you can quit, but if you started gardening, you already have that itch to grow things. Maybe only focus on a few crops that you really like growing and hone your skills and your, your expertise on those crops. Or maybe just take a little break, take the summer off. These dog days of summer, y'all, it, it, it can be overwhelming, let's be real. Maybe just take the summer off and then start focusing on the fall. Or if your fall season is horrible, then take some time off, amend your beds really well, give, give your time, give your beds plenty of time to seep all that nutrients down into the beds so you're ready for spring but don't quit don't quit find a happy median for you if you are overwhelmed with squash vine borers don't plant squash plant something else and see if that alleviates those issues or if you're out in southern california and you don't have squash vine borers but you might have i don't know aphids that are really bad Adjust what you're planning, but just don't quit. Or if heat is your big issue, like it is for me, don't plant in the summertime. Now, me personally, I can't not have something growing. It would drive me absolutely crazy. But for you, if you're a beginner gardener, don't be disillusioned or disenfranchised by what you're dealing with. It's part of this journey. And I always call gardening a journey for a reason because it is a journey. It never ends, which is beautiful. It can also be stressful, <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing because you can constantly keep adjusting and learning and tweaking what you've, what you've done. If you've grown peppers really good this year, focus on peppers again next year but add something to it. If you focused solely on say tomatoes this year, add peppers next year or eggplants or, or cucumbers or something else. Keep honing your skills. You don't have to come out here and plant a massive garden with 30 different plants or types of plants and just overwhelm yourself. If you have a small garden, make it, make it an amazing, the most amazing small garden ever in the history of the world but tweak it to what will work for you. Okay, I'm gonna end the video with this. One, I hope this motivated someone out there, at least one person who was thinking of quitting. I hope this video motivated you to keep going. Please drop comments to this video down below. I will respond and I will give you all the best advice I can to whatever it is that you're dealing with. But from a new-ish beginner gardener to you all, Trust me when I say this, do not quit. You might look at this garden and be like, man, he's, he's got a lot of stuff out here. Well, it all started with this back row. When I put that back row in and turned that into a garden. And then I put in this bed right here. And then that bed, these two beds right here. And then that right there. <laughs> then these two beds. And then all of those beds over there and just yesterday that big huge bed right there which video will be coming out very soon on that one also container garden so I'm showing all this to get to this point start slow find the things and what I mean by things are the crops that best grow for you focus on those and then continuously keep adding a crop, an extra crop, and hone your skills that way if you're being overwhelmed with so much. But don't quit. Do not let being overwhelmed steal the joy that you have when you come out in your garden. That is my advice to you 
especially this time of year when a lot of people, including a lot of big YouTubers, actually take a step back in, in, in the heat of summer. Also in the extreme colds of winter. But this time of year for me, it kills me. It kills me to be out here um, throughout the day when I actually want to be out here. I can't. I'm pouring sweat. It's just too much. It's not, it's not fun at that point. But I'm not quitting. I am not quitting. And neither should you. All right, everybody, that's the video. I just wanted to give a little pep talk to everyone who needed it. And if you don't need it, then hey, it's all good. Share the video, like the video. And if you all enjoyed what I said in this video or any of my other videos, subscribe to this channel. I speak on behalf of this channel for everyone that's part of this community that we all want you who have not subscribed to subscribe and join this community along with all your other ones. Everyone take care, God bless. Continue to shine bright, harvest hard. Don't give up. Do not quit, please. Trust me, push through, and you're gonna just come out on the other side that much more of a happier, better gardener. I promise. <laughs> Talk to y'all again real soon.